Another feature available in GNS3 2.1 is zoom percentage in the status bar. A zoom percentage will be displayed in the status bar when zooming in and out. In this example, I'm using GNS3 version 2.1 beta 1 on a Windows PC. So when I click zoom, at the bottom here, the zoom percentage is displayed. Click zoom again. I can see that I'm at 800%. If I zoom out, I can see as an example that I'm at 283%. Here's an example on a Mac. Zoom in. Notice I can see the zoom percentage. So the zoom is displayed. But when I move my mouse, notice I see the coordinates. GNS3 version 2.1 now supports up to 275 network adapters and QMU VMs. Previously, this was limited to 32 network adapters, but now up to 275 are supported, which is the maximum supported by QMU. QMU version 2.4 or later is required. Another feature available in GNS3 version 2.1 is the drawing of lines. A drawing align tool is now available. The style can also be changed in the same way that rectangles can. So click on line. I can now draw a line. I can change the angle. I can change the length, change the angle and so forth. I can right click and click style change the color, change the border width as an example, make it a dash, click OK. So I can change lines in this way, just like I could with rectangles and ellipses. So simply right click, click style, and change the color, change the border style and so forth of the rectangle or a line. A new feature available in GNS3 is displaying errors and warning counts at the bottom of the screen. The number of errors or warnings will be displayed at the bottom right of the GNS3 application. Clicking on it will show the GNS3 console. So as an example, if I try and connect this device to itself, I'm told that there's an error. It cannot connect it to itself. And in the bottom right here, I see one warning. When I click on it, the console is opened. Now I've only covered some of the new features available in version 2.1 of GNS3. Have a look at the GNS3 documentation for more information. As an example, base configurations are stored on the server. This change impacts users with a central GNS3 server. Prior to version 2.1, base configurations for VPCS, IOU, and Dynamips were sent by the GNS3 client. This meant that a node created by two clients could have different base configurations. Now in version 2.1, all base configurations are stored on the central server. The NAT node can use the VMware NAT adapter. The NAT node will use the VMware VMNet adapter instead of the libvirt NAT feature of the GNS3 VM provided VMware is installed on a Windows or Mac device. This allows you to connect a Dynamips topology to the internet without having to boot a GNS3 VM. So have a look at the other features on the GNS3 documentation. Also have a look at deprecated features such as HTTPS no longer being available. Ubuntu Trusty is no longer supported for the GUI and other changes. You can see the documentation by going to the documentation link on the GNS3 website, clicking on release notes and clicking on version 2.1. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.